Welcome to you, my name's Dale and this is Dale's Addiction. I'm bringing you a tag video today and my lovely friend Amelia at Amelia Rose's Closet has tagged me to film her cheats version of this tag. So I don't know who originated the tag but I know that Amelia was tagged by Hannah at Hello Catwalk City. I will link her video below and Amelia's and originally the tag was the one luxury bag that I would never sell. And Amelia, because she's got a problem, she changed it to the five luxury bags that she would never sell. And so I am going to jump on her coattails and do the five luxury bags that I would never sell either. Because when you have an extensive handbag collection, just the one... I mean, I know what the one would be, um, and I think I answered that in my recent Q&A, which I'll link up here, but um, yeah, that's boring. So let's do five. So whilst we're talking about the one, um, recently I said, you know, which is my favorite handbag, I think, and I put it down to the fact that this is the one I think would be most difficult to replace. And it is my Fendi Sex in the City Purple Rain medium baguette uh, which I purchased last year. Um, this is a special special piece and I think now with the reboot of Sex and the City it's probably going to be even harder to get your hands on and it wasn't even relevant to Sex and the City at the time that I bought it but it was relevant to me. Um, yes so this is one bag that I have never considered selling and I don't see myself ever considering selling it. So the next piece is my Louis Vuitton Speedy 35 in the ivory epi leather. Why have I never considered selling this or would I never consider selling it? I'd be a bit embarrassed to sell it to be honest. It's been to a bag spa and if you've ever had a bag spa before and repainted, the texture of the leather changes, it becomes quite, I don't know, it's just not as nice as it was. Um, I would not know what to price this at. I would not know where to even start. If I put all the disclaimers and listed all of the, um, you know, wear on this, like there's lots of things to love about it and, and it looks fine. But you can see here like where something has gotten stuck on the near paint. Um, I'm sure somebody would love it um, who who loves this bag or is a collector, but I wouldn't sell it because I'd just be a bit embarrassed about it, to be honest. <laughs> it was my first luxury handbag and uh, I thought it was a wise choice because it was so unique. Probably not ready for a luxury handbag in white leather at the time. And let's just leave it at that. So the third one that I would never sell is my Louis Vuitton Petite Boit Chapeau. This bag was a gift if you watch my channel. This is very repetitive. It was a gift from my husband from a couple of Christmases ago. It was an absolute surprise to me. It, um, it, yeah, it knocked me for six. I bawled my eyes out. Um, I never thought that I would have a beautiful bag like this in my collection because I didn't think that I would ever justify purchasing it. Uh, it already has pre-patinaed um, leather and I keep it in a place where it gets light and I love the fact that it's darkening because to me it brings out more of the vintage vibes. It's in beautiful, beautiful condition and I use it. Um, but yeah, and, and just because he bought it, um, I did sell a bag, the only other bag that he bought for me recently, my Louis Vuitton twist. So it's got nothing to do with that. It's about the fact that, um, yes, he did purchase it for me, but it is just a treasured piece of Louis Vuitton heritage, history, something I would never buy for myself. And yeah, I love it. It's beautiful. And it's, you know, it makes great decor if you don't use it as a bag also. This is really quite a random selection because I had to think if I hadn't thought about selling these things and I'd had to, I, I have had to have owned them for a bit. Um, the next one is my wallet on chain. I've never considered selling this ever. 
Um, yes, it has wear on it. It's losing some of the plating on the hardware. It's got some rub marks um, underneath. Like it's in good condition for how much I've used it, but it is such a useful little bag. It's great as a clutch. It's great as a bag to run errands. It's great as a bag to wear to concerts and events where you can only have teeny tiny little bags. It always looks good. It's timeless. It's unique with this clasp which is a bit different to the classic walk, I adore it. Um, and I have never considered once selling it. In fact, I have looked at walks in the 19 style and also in the boy bag style because I didn't really like my boy bag, but I think I might like it in the wallet on chain. And the final bag that I have never considered selling, and I'm getting through these really quickly, is my Chanel Jumbo in the black caviar with silver hardware. I purchased this pre-loved back in 2018 for the tidy price of $5,500 with a full set bag, receipt, camellia, ribbon, authenticity card, dust bag, the whole works. Um, and I'm not a big one for the Chanel classic bag. I did a lot of research before I purchased this bag because I'd bought a reissue that didn't really work very well for me. Um, I love this bag. I love it with the silver hardware. I think it's super edgy. I can dress this up as a corporate look. I can dress it down with some, you know, done but undone style, which I love so much. Um, I think the silver hardware keeps it youthful. Um, I wouldn't use this for night time on purpose just because it's so big, but it's a great from the office to drinks kind of bag. Um, yeah, it's my pick for the classic handbags for Chanel. And I think the current recommended retail price for this bag is <laughs> something like twelve and a half thousand dollars and on the resale market they've kind of they've bumped up about fifteen hundred dollars I guess from when I bought mine but they'll come back big bags will come back and um this is something that you know it's just you just gotta have one and this is my one. So look, I'm not sure how long ago this tag was started. Amelia did say that she was a bit late to the party. So I'm just going to say, if you haven't done this tag before, feel free to do it. And if you don't have a YouTube channel or an Instagram handle or account, then just pop in the comments down below or what bags you would never sell and why. I'd be keen to know um, because a lot of, um, we, we can, you know, we have a lot of reasons for the choices that we make. For me, when I looked around, there were bags I wouldn't sell, obviously, because I was embarrassed about them. Bags that are so useful, bags that I could never get for the same price again, or bags that would be hard to find. In reality, are there more than five bags in my collection that I'd never sell? Absolutely, but that's not the point of the tag, right? So um, if you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. I put out videos on Wednesdays and Sundays. I'll see you next time.